Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video and this plan with me video we're using one of our weekly kits in our July mystery kits. So you might see something different in my planner. It's actually, actually, it's actually thin. I have transferred the first year, the first part of the year into another planner as you can see here. The one on the right, this one that says work hard, stay humble, that's from January to June. I did do a flip through video, which I'll put the link down below if you're interested in looking and walking through memory lane with me. <laughs> Before we start, I want to show you guys the few weeks that I did not do a film plan with me and just want to show you my spreads, that's all. So this was the 4th of July spread and this one is the week after, which I did a boho craft theme and the week before this week was our holiday vacation so I decided to just use bright colors summer and made a memory keeping card of the vacation we actually did a staycation of our vacation but let me tell you it's still pretty hectic for a staycation This week we're going to plan from July 24th to July 30th. Let's get planning! We'll be using our mystery kit A from our July mystery kit. Here you can see we added gold foil to our weekly kits now. I'm super excited with that and I think going forward you'll be seeing more gold foil items in our shop and in our mystery kits for sure. I am just going to spread out the stickers so you guys can see what I'm using. This is our HP gloss, blah, HP, <laughs> HP glossy version. I'm laying out my two sticker sheet like that because they are my full boxes and they are the main colors of the spread. So I just went to get some washi that I think may work with the spread. As you know, obviously I won't be using all those washi, but I like to keep some near me while I do this and film this. So I don't have to always walk back and forth to my cupboard where I store my washies. Yeah, I cannot speak today. So before I start, before I cover anything on my weekly, I like to use my date dots that comes with a kit and place it in my date cover sticker so that once I lay it down I know I have the correct dates on it and not second guess myself. And those of you who all knows me or if has been following me and watching my plan with me I like to do or build my weeklies from bottom up so before I start anything in my weekly spread I have to play with my washi. I've decided to use this polka dot confetti washi for the bottom however it is a transparent washi and I do need to cover the ink that is at, on the bottom of the page so in order to do so I'm just going to place my washi on top of my block through label stick that I have on hand. You guys could also purchase these block through label stickers in my Etsy shop. Once you place these labels on top, the ink on the page will literally not transfer through on top of these labels. If you guys don't have this type of labels at home, you can also purchase it through Avery. I believe they do have it through Avery too. But another option is that you could use whiteout to cover up all the inks. But I like to use my labels. It's a lot easier and it's easy to trim to size too. Next I'm going to do the top header with the washi. Now I'm going to start building my to-do list. First I'm going to put down my ombre heart check boxes and then my to-do header stickers. As I said, I do like to build from bottom up. So my second part 
or mid part I usually do my full boxes and sorry I hate it when my stickers are crooked so I had to readjust that one and I like to border off my section so it just gives it a cleaner cut I felt the confetti washi was a bit overwhelming so I'm just going to tie in with this diagonal washi on top of it and it actually works well with the bottom of the section I didn't want to use the same diagonal washi so I decided to use a thinner strip here which is just a white washi with gold diagonal foiling and I added to the top too just to tie in the top also and now I work on my today's section and I usually most of the time forget to do my meal plan stickers so I made a note this time to like you must do the meal plan stickers before you put down anything so for my weekend section my Saturday and my Sunday columns I usually don't know what I will use or put in there until I get to that section so that's why I left all the washies um, cut till that section just in case I do need it or if I don't I could always cut it off but I always pull all my washi to the end I'm just going to quickly go through my todays with you guys because it's not really that exciting I don't have a very exciting life I don't think but yes Monday my kids have swimming lessons and also it's the first day of camp for my little one and Tuesday I have boxing I've taken up kickboxing and I love it for those of you who don't or are considering please do because it's just so fun yeah right like punching people <laughs> but no it's a great exercise anyways Wednesday swim lessons for them and decide to do a batting cage date thing with my husband and Thursday design day and my husband has hockey and here my battery just died so I just filled in Friday which is that they have a swim lesson and I'll be filming my plan with me not that exciting you see <laughs> but so now we're gonna work on our sidebars and our weekend columns and I got this scrapbook paper it's from one of our scrapbook pad that I got from Michaels I think I got it last year and it was one of their um, hot picks thing hot picks scrapbook books but anyways I thought that the ombre color really matches with this week's theme so I'm just gonna cut out the colors that I like and trim it to size and tape it down the July kit was all about summer and with this mystery kit a here my inspiration for this was carnival slash summer fun slash to the fair and unicorn sparkles And now to finish off the today's section for Saturday we do have a date night our bi-weekly date night and Sunday is always family time and just chilling with my little family and lastly I have this section here which I have no idea what to put in there so I decided to just maybe fill it up with one of the cardstock also and decorate that spot with a quote sticker Now to build the sidebar, I have some leftover stickers that I did not use for my monthly view and I'm going to use those stickers, which is the sidebar stickers, to use in my weekly view. I noticed that there's this little gap at the bottom so I decided to cover it with the washi and it fits perfectly instead of just ripping the sticker off from the sidebar because I don't know if it will rip well or it might rip the paper I don't know so that's why I just place the washi under instead of correcting it the mystery kit do come with decorative stickers so I'm just gonna put some decorative sticker around my spread too and I realized when I was doing that oh my I was like oh my god the sidebar I could just take it off without ripping the paper so I did that and readjusted it to how I like and here I am just placing all the decorative sticker around the quotes and empty spaces to fill it up and lastly you gotta fill it in before I forget anything
And that's it. Well, thank you guys for joining me with this plan with me. I truly appreciate it. Wishing you guys a happy weekend and a happy week if you are watching this during the week. And I'll see you in my next video. Happy planning. Bye.